The Panama Canal could be soon facing competition, as we mentioned earlier, from Nicaragua's plans to build their very own canal. It's a project in Nicaragua for its people, for our America, and the world. The Nicaragua Canal is a proposed inter-oceanic canal project that would connect the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean through Nicaragua. The canal was proposed by Chinese billionaire Wang Jing and was granted a 50-year operating concession by Nicaragua in June 2013. The canal is estimated to cost around $50 billion and will be able to accommodate ships of up to 23,000 20-foot containers. The canal has been seen as a rival to the Panama Canal and is expected to provide a quicker and more efficient maritime shortcut for global shipping. With the Nicaragua Canal Project, China will change the global trade balance. The plan is to replace US's dominance on maritime trade routes by dislodging the Panama Corral as the single connecting trade route between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Nicaragua Canal idea is not new. In fact, the first plan to dig a canal in Nicaragua was developed all the way back in the 16th century. Interestingly, the United States considered this route an option to build a trans-oceanic path in the 19th century. Some construction works were even launched at the San Juan River in Nicaragua. However, the work was suspended in 1893. Then the government ordered the Isthmian Canal Commission to give final recommendations between the two choices. Although the commission favored the Nicaraguan route, the US Senate voted for the Panama route. In 2013, China caught the opportunity to realize the plan. In June, Nicaraguan lawmakers chose the Hong Kong Nicaragua Canal Development Investment Company, HKND, to build and manage the canal. As a result, the news about the construction of Nicaragua's Grand Canal spread worldwide. The project's estimated cost were 50 billion US dollars, or 300 billion won. According to the plan, the canal's total length was 175 miles, three times the length of the Panama Canal, and it could eventually serve 5% of the world's cargo traffic. It's important to know that the need for these types of projects is huge since global maritime trade is increasing and the ships transporting goods are getting larger. Therefore, in response to the demand and possible competitors, it was decided to expand the Panama Canal with the $5.2 billion upgrades completed in 2016. The new locks can accommodate new Panamax vessels, transporting up to 12,000 containers stacked as tall as a 15-story building. In 2015, it was suggested by media sources that the project might be pushed back or even cancelled because Wang's personal funds decreased significantly as a result of the Chinese stock market crash from 2015 to 2016. The project was halted with no official explanation from the company or the government of Nicaragua. However, as Nicaragua actively seeks to establish a strategic partnership with China, the future of the project is not over. In December of the last year, Nicaragua recognized the People's Republic of China and abandoned their political support of Taiwan. This opens a way for Beijing to be officially involved in the Nicaragua Grand Canal project instead of private enterprises like NKHD in 2014. For once, Beijing has won another vote in the international arena that solidifies its stance over the One China policy. Secondly, some may think that the project is over, but one needs to understand that seaborne trade is the most important economic aspect of the global economy. Thus, great economic powers like the US, China, Japan, and Germany will always be looking for ways to control maritime routes. And for Beijing, this is a strategic investment. Since the beginning of the century, seaborne trade has been drastically increasing, from 6 billion tons of goods in 2000 to 11 billion tons in 2021. Overall, the 300 billion yuan project of the Nicaragua Canal can definitely impact global trade. However, this time, China has the upper hand. For more information, check out this video we did on a similar topic. Click the link below now to watch.